So do you guys have pets? I've always had a love for animals. Ever since my family and I moved into our new neighborhood, I just saw some random kid minding his own business, walking his dog, and being the tiny 8 year old I was. I was like, I want that. I think my mom didn't mind too much getting one pet, so around May we went to get my first dog. We went to a pokey little animal shelter where they had cats, dogs, and rodents as well. Near the back was where all the dogs were, and I found this scrawny brown dog that was biting on the cage. I wasn't too keen on getting her, so I looked over to this baby golden retriever. I swear to god, this was the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm not lying, here's a picture. I don't mean to sound picky, but I normally like light colored pets, so I was pretty excited to get this puppy. However, my mom was like, HOLD IT! I want that one. And she pointed to the brown puppy from earlier, and being the insecure child I was, I was like, Oh, guess we're getting her then. We let her out of the cage, and the moment I picked up the puppy, she started peeing on me, which was a big sign of regret, if you couldn't tell. After that disaster, we had to get a name for her. I went through like five names before I stuck with the name Choco. Funny story, on the birth certificate of my dog, my dad misspelled her name and was spelled Choco with a K, which to this day, I can't forgive him for that. Eventually, after a couple of years, I got bored of the dog, mainly because she couldn't fetch or run that fast for that matter. Around Halloween, I went to my friend's house to go trick-or-treating, and it was there I saw all five of his cats. I'm telling you, the moment one jumped onto my lap and started purring, I'm pretty sure that literally just broke me. I think it's important to mention now that I'm allergic to both cats and dogs, so in a minute my eyes started itching and I started sneezing everywhere so we had to leave as soon as possible. After that, I started developing a love for cats. Something about their tail and the way they clean themselves, it's just, it's just, it's just, I need that. Around March, we went to the same animal shelters to see the cats, and they were all sold out. Not a single cat or kitten was there. I left the animal shelter empty handed. One month later, then boom, cat appears. There was one litter with three gray kittens. One of them who seemed to be full of energy. The other one was just sleeping, and the last one was just sitting in the corner while staring at me. I think the first one automatically caught my attention like any given situation. However, when my dad reached in to pet the kittens, the first one scratched my dad, which was uncalled for. Either way, we went over to the front desk to get one of the kittens, and by the time we came back, the cage was open. I'm not lying. The lock was on the floor and the cage was swung open. My dad automatically thought the kitten was cursed and told me not to get it. My mom was just in the corner face palming. I was like, okay, then I guess I won't get that one. And then in the tiny box was my first kitten. Now more onto both of them, I realized when writing the script, I should probably list out more things about them rather than where I just got them from. So here we go, golden moments time. From what I can tell, Choco already learned a few tricks, like sit and stay, but what we didn't know was she knew how to give out her paw. Okay, so this one time I was at school, my mom had to open the garage door to move the ladder to the backyard. I don't know why she needed to do that. I I and while doing that, she didn't notice that the dog disappeared, and while I was coming back from school, I just seen Choco just sitting outside the front door, waiting for my mom to open up. Basically, she gave herself a walk without running away. I was both shocked and in awe, seeing as she was able to survive the outdoors for god knows how long, and the fact that she didn't even seem to be scratched for that matter. Winslow is an interesting cat. I think he's just an embodiment of a toddler, and... You have to give him a lot of attention. The best way to describe Winslow is a brat. No, he's cute, but a brat. A couple days ago, me and my dad were in the middle of repairing a table. We had to let the glue dry, but in the middle of the night, So Winslow basically tipped over the entire table, and now we have a larger problem on our hands. The entire leg snapped off. I don't know where I was going with the story, I just wanted to point that out. I think it's safe to say that Winslow has a very destructive nature. This morning, when I was just about to finish writing up the script, you know, because I like to procrastinate and all that stuff, Winslow started to block the screen, and I just, you know, kind of shoved him aside a little. He started rubbing his face on the monitor, you know, the things every cat on the face of the planet does. I wasn't too bothered by Winslow rubbing his face on the monitor, but things escalated quickly when he began to start pushing my monitor off my desk. My genuine reaction was to jump over and grab my monitor right as it was about to fall off. I've been living with Choker for five years now and living with Winslow for almost three years. His birthday's coming up soon, so... Yay, another video idea. Hey everyone, so don't get too alarmed, my videos are not changing, it's staying as gaming. 
maybe we don't know for sure this was a school project i had to get done in the span of five days I decided to drop out on editing a planned video that was supposed to be uploaded today if you guys like these kinds of things where i ramble on for five to eight minutes telling a story i got plenty more stories in my pockets all right that's it see you later